is NBC 25 News. Five Duran High School runners disqualified in the state finals after being busted for using what the State Athletic Association is calling performance enhancing drugs. Good evening everyone, I'm Jane Park in for Bill Harris. Thanks for joining us tonight. The state track and field finals set for this Saturday, but some Duran runners will not be there. Team members caught using a supplement called C4. It's a long list of banned drugs and now these runners are barred from hitting the track. NBC 25's Walter Smith Randolph is in the newsroom now with our top story. Walter, what does the supplement do? Jane, it's a pre-workout supplement that you can get over the counter. I bought this earlier today at GNC without a problem. But the problem is this is banned by Michigan's High School Athletic Association, the National Collegiate Athletic Association, and even the U.S. Coast Guard. Now it's cost these runners a potential championship. The Durand Railroaders off track after high school runners busted using performance enhancement drug C4 Extreme. It's a really unregulated thing and you know a lot of kids don't know what they're actually using. Athletic trainer Nick Bindle, who's not affiliated with Durand, says C4 helps bodybuilders get more workouts in, but he says the risk isn't worth the reward. You face the, the dangers of, you know, kidney function and liver function being um, Reduced. That's why C4 is banned by the Michigan High School Athletic Association. State law requires that schools have something in their student code which follows the NCAA banned list. The runners allegedly taking the supplement before winning the Genesee area Red League track meet. Once school officials found out, they withdrew the railroaders' eligibility for state finals. The Duran schools are a member in good standing of the association. The recent events do not change that. Just the best and most effective way is just to get out there and do exercise. The director of the Genesee Athletic Conference says he's using this incident as a teachable moment for the athletes. The Durant superintendent just sending us a statement that reads in part, the matter was handled appropriately in accordance with the district's policies and procedures and has been closed. In the newsroom tonight, Walter Smith Randolph, NBC 25 News. Jane. All right. Thank you, Walter.